Hello everyone. Today we will see that how you can record your screen on MacBook. To record your screen, first go to Spotlight and look for QuickTime Player. Open it. Now, as you can see over here, QuickTime Player has opened. Now, go to File and select New Screen Recording. Now here at the bottom, it's it displays a bar from which you can select different options. Now these three options are related to images. If you want to record a video, then you have to select this one that is record the entire screen or you can record a selected portion. Okay. Here if you click options, you can change the one according to your need. My options are set accordingly. So I will straightforward go for recording. Once you are ready, you can click on the record button. Now here, if you are using two separate display, one for a laptop and one for your monitor, you will find two displays over here. I want to record my display one. So I will select this one and the recording shall start. Once you are done with your screen recording, you can stop it with the help of the icon with the help of this icon at the top. Okay. Simply click on this and the recording will stop. Okay. Now next step is what we need to do. We need to export our clip. So for that go to file here at the bottom, you will find export as whatever formats are available to you. Here I can select full HD, HD or 480p. So I will select full HD that is 1080p. Here you can select whatever name you want to give to your recording. I will leave it as default. Next where you want to save it by default, it is going to save it in documents. If you want to change it, you can change it right now. In the next option, you can select the file codec in which you want to save your file. Okay, either you could select HEVC that is H265 or you can select H264 codec. So for greater compatibility, H264 works well. So I would go for H264, I will select it and click on save. So now the file has been exported and saved in your documents. Okay. So in this way, you can record your screen on MacBook using QuickTime player. So that was a quick tutorial. I hope you liked the video. If you do so, please give it a thumbs up. And for more tutorials on macOS, please subscribe to our channel. Till next time. Goodbye.